Good morning and welcome in to the Mystic Lotus and Dragonflies awesome masterclasses. Starhawk said, through the goddess, we can discover our strength, enlighten our minds, own our bodies and celebrate our emotions. And our fabulous expert today is here to tell us how. She is very well known as a gifted psychic medium, a spiritual mentor and channeler, imparting knowledge and attunements with many celestial beings, including dragons, angels, and unicorns. She excels at working with different dimensions and is constantly upping her game with it. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for and join me in giving a warm Mystic Lotus welcome to the beautiful Siddhi Shah. Hi, Siddhi. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so the quote that you said, yeah, one line mentioned so many things in that. It's, it's a spark that is within you. It is a spark that is in the divine cosmos. When both of them connect, uh, a completely new beauty gets created, right? So uh, once I was talking about someone, about goddesses, and she happened to ask me, do we also have goddesses inside of us? And I asked her, don't we? We are made with yin and yang, both together. Whether we are any physical form, it's a male or a female. We all have yin and, sorry, yin and yang. The yin energy helps us create, helps us get creative. It balances our mind and many other things. And why? The yang energy cleanses and protects us. And it is existing in all of us. Like we all are said to be made of stardust. It is 97% of what the universe is made of. Then why do we believe or feel that we do not have that spark within us? The only thing is it is the matter of realizing it for us. So when 97% of us that we are, this matter, is universe itself, how easy it is for us to connect, how easy it is for us to get onto a certain vibe from where we are. And today, of all, we are going to be talking about the yin energies. That is all the divine goddesses. But when I say yin energies, it means a lot many different things. It means fierceness, I'm sorry. It means fierceness of goddess Mahakali. It means calmness and compassion of Lady Kuan Yin. It also means wisdom of Goddess Saraswati and love of Mahalakshmi. So when I say yin energies, yin itself has many definitions. And that's what we are going to dwell into. We are going to be understanding what kind of yin are we. We all are very unique combination of yin. We all have our own strengths. We all have our own weaknesses. But we are living in the world of duality. Our strengths could turn out to be our weaknesses and our weaknesses can be transformed into our strength. And that is what this whole thing is all about. So before we get started, my request uh, is that if you can get a pen and a paper or a pencil and a paper, it will help everyone note down a few things or maybe when I'm taking a little quiz of yours, you can mark your options right. and. We can find our answers. So this is going to be a cool journey. And towards the end of the call, I'm going to be give, giving away one Mahakali meditation, come empowerment, come healing, all of it put together. So yeah, let me hear some yes. Yes, big yeses. I can see thumbs ups as well. And uh, very quickly reminding everybody, all chats for the call are happening on the Telegram group. Yes, please keep paper and pencil ready to note down your options and don't forget to put it into the Telegram group as well so that uh, we can let Siddhi know exactly what you've chosen and you'll find out what's up for you. So Siddhi, before you go on, I had a very quick question because you know when we, when we talk yin and we say goddess, the first thing that comes to mind is that this, this is, this, only women are going to do this or this is something to do only for women. So is that true here also, or is this something that men should definitely, definitely give a shot? 
yes, as I said, yin and yang are in all of us, whether we are women or we are men, right? And secondly, she's the mother. She does not really care whether you are a male or a female. She'll nurture everyone the same way she's been nurturing everybody else. Yeah, so that is the beauty of it. So whether you are a male or a female, just go for it and go for give it. yourself yes. a chance to connect. Yeah. Absolutely. It is something we are receiving. It is not something we are giving up in. Right. Right. Fantastic. Siddhi, the floor is yours because I know everybody is waiting to find out more. Uh, exactly what you've mentioned, the yin yang, and you, you've taken a few goddesses' names as well. Uh, please go ahead. There, there, there are so many questions. It's not possible to start with one. So take it away. So, so why don't we go ahead and first understand a little bit about Mota Moti, what kind of energy we would be or we could be. Okay, so before that, I'll give you a little idea as to what am I talking about. The goddess energies are often connected with elemental forces. When I say elemental forces, it is fire, water, earth, and air. Yeah? And every... So space aspect, coming? I mean, does ether come in here? Ether yes. comes in? Okay. So why am I not speaking about space as every goddess is connected with space because it is the mystical part it is the cosmic energy so that is definitely there yeah but when i speak about personalities uh, they could be very distinct for different archetypes that is goddess archetypes and even we would have a part of it and you'll realize it in another five minutes what is it that i'm talking about so every goddess is connected with different kind of elemental forces. Now, let me start putting it into some kind of an understanding. So if I say fire, now this is something that I'm explaining, but this is an opportunity for you to go within and understand whether this is a part of you or it is not a part of you. So when I say fire, just go ahead and observe whether you have a burning desire or will of fire. You have very strong sense of justice. Is this the person that you are? Or you would not sit by looking at something and you would want to go ahead and plunge into it and figure things out. Uh, I am, as, yeah. uh, just sorry, just telling everybody, do put your, do put whatever you say yes for, yes, no for, make sure you write the energy, the element or the energy in as well on the Telegram group. Sorry, Sydney, go ahead. Yes, please share it with us. We would love to hear it. Right. So that is fire. So is this what you are? Now, if I say fire energies, those are largely connected with goddesses, warrior goddesses. Goddess Mahakali, Baglamukhi, Athena, um, and other warrior goddesses. Yeah. And they are connected with the element of fire. Now next, are you very sensitive? You're very emotional. You come from the space of unconditional love. You're very compassionate and you don't know why, but you are very compassionate. And everything that has to happen around you has to be loving all the time. If this is who you are and largely defines your personality, you are connected with the element of water. Water is connected with energies like Lady Kuan Yin, full of compassion, full of love. Artemis. Artemis is a wonderful combination of fire and water because she happens to be a warrior and she also happens to be the moon energy, the calming energy. Yeah. Um, Goddess Mahalakshmi. Yemaya and many other goddesses that calm you down, that bring certain sense of harmony, relationships, and a lot more within you. Now, my third question. Are you someone people love to come to and they like to hug you because they find comfort inside you? Or is it they come to you to seek advices from you? You are that one person who everyone will come to when it is about 
advice is when it is about it i don't know what to do and i know that you will and you will guide me well in that case you are earth energies you're grounded you're wise you can see things the way they are with a bigger perspective but you will also not go on offering your advices to others unless you're asked that kind of wisdom also you have so that is earth energy and these are connected with goddesses like goddess saraswati gaia prithvi we grounded that very nurturing like imagine the kind of energy that they have is they can turn a dried seed into a sapling into a tree bearing fruits and an entire new cycle starts that is the kind of energy and nurturing you have inside of you in the last is if you are that bubbly person that everyone loves to be around you can turn the winds of any party any game any conversation and you can make things come alive then you are the energy of air that is always alert that is always intelligent that is always <coughs> i'm sorry that is always there helping you guiding you so goddess is like arya and goddess is like i i rare energies they are always active in turning the tides and other younger goddesses bubbly goddesses that we know are goddesses of air now if you would have identified which one of these you are please share it with us and then we can take it ahead and people have written in sibi and before i before i i call this out uh, i was listening to you and when you said artemis i was uh, i was thinking of artemis fowl and i was like but that's uh, that's no, a that's a tween tween hero where did that happen from how did that happen so is there a connection between that character being being actually called artemis fowl <laughs> so no it is not artemis fowl but uh, artemis fowl is a young chap uh who is a fictional character but so much of what he has comes from is so much like goddess artemis like he does great things and he's fighting for his life he's fighting for his right but there is no fierceness he's doing with very cool mind very cool heart high on iq he can strategize everything every next move even next even next and he knows how it is going to fall in place so that kind of intelligence comes in and yeah and i think the name is exactly right for him because that's how the goddess herself is she is a warrior goddess she is a moon goddess very calming and one of the very rare combinations to have like you know what i will fight but i will not lose my team right right and in fact uh, with the uh, with the air the connecting to the air uh, you mentioned goddess arya and uh, in my head i was thinking of game of thrones and arya stark because she <laughs> did she she turned things around in the series as well and i was just thinking as in my god somebody must have made some connection because this is not a coincidence <laughs> and put those names in sometimes you... these names inspire us like right. even in our everyday life we come across people with certain names and actually living up to their names right this absolutely is... yeah and it like i said and imagine if i'm making these connections this way how all of us could actually be making connections with our our yin with our with our goddesses in any and every that you mentioned people have written in uh, delba ria manisha shalini ria, uh, ria said yes i am taking a guess it was for the fire uh, element because that was the first one mentioned if i'm mistaken please let let us know on telegram sharmin says uh, sharmin meena uh, indraji ji uh, say yes to water sharmin also says yes to earth i'm so sorry about that give me a moment so by the time neelu comes back i would want you to dwell into these things 
and just put it up onto the Telegram group. Three things that you think you do not like about you and you would want to instantly change. That is a part of your personality. It is not a part of your life. That is a part of your personality that you would definitely want to change. And send in your answers and we are going to address this and we are going to address how we are going to be connecting better with different goddess energies and seek their help. So we largely dwell into the idea of what is it that I'm facing in my life? Is it a relationship issue? Is it a um, financial issue? Or is it something else? Is it a karmic issue? But what we often forget is when I change myself and my responses, the situations will be dealt in a different way and they are likely to get answers derived in far better way. I could handle the situations well. Of course, uh, when we connect with goddesses, they offer you much more than these material aspects. They offer you an ascension. They offer you a change. And that's why I want you to go ahead and list down a few things, rather three things that you think you wish to change, or maybe you don't like about yourself. So give yourself a moment and get going. I'm also back. <laughs> Sorry about that. As we say in Hindi, recovered ke liye khen hai. Sorry about that uh, minor interruption. What would you what what would you uh, say for that, uh, Siddhi? Because I normally keep DJ uh, away so that, you know, it, it, there's no suddenly popped in and with that. So is there something in play with that as well? Yeah. So ever since uh, I started the call, my cat is sitting right below here. So ah. they do understand the energies. They do understand there's something happening and they do want to be a part of it. Yeah. And this is not just now. Before this, sometimes whenever I do goddess work, I know that wherever he is in the home, He's going to be attracted in that room and in that place and be sitting there. So Absolutely. So, okay. And uh, Amanda also said, Earth, just getting back to the elemental list very quickly. Uh, Indrajit says, all four. Shalini says, Earth and fire. Sanskriti says, water. Manisha says, fire. And if you could please explain it again. Rhea says, water and fire. Dinaz says fire and water. Aditi says water and fire. Delva, Delva also says water and fire. Dimple says fire and earth. Nehal says earth and air. Uh, Dinaz has asked which goddesses are for fire and water again. We'll just get to that very quickly, Dinaz. Manisha says I'm water and air. Sushila so says what? Lots of water uh, uh, popping up, water connection popping up here. Sushila so says water and uh, Shaman says earth and water. Yeah. And a lot of them are relating to at least two elements and awesome. if not all four so uh i would like it if you put down uh what is the best that defines you it will give you a lot more clarity today and uh i totally understand that you come from the space of two elements because i myself feel connected with two different elements but one of them is definitely ruling the other one so it is all right if you feel connected with two different elements and it is perfectly fine because that's the beauty of it. That way you're going to be able to enjoy a lot more, understand a lot more and that simply shows your openness to the entire universe that you're getting connected with so many different forces and it's completely fine. But when you narrow certain things down, okay, let me help you with a quiz. Is it fine? Yeah, I mean, yes, absolutely. And yeah. uh, Siddhi, people have started writing in as you had asked, uh, what is it that you want to change? So whenever yeah. you're ready to hear about that, let me know. Uh, yes, right after the quiz, because this okay. will also... In fact, no, right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Shubhashi says, pro procrastination, laziness and overthinking. Rhea says that I get angry very fast. I get emotional very easily. I get connected to people's problems and take it over me. Samina says uh, procrastination, fear of digital knowledge, inability to dispose of clutter. Vandana says financial stability, have more patience and laziness. Shalini says struggling relationships, rooting in the past, insecurity. Uh, Siddhi, stop me anytime you want to say something, okay? Uma says, overthinking, self-doubt, putting others before me. 
So Sheila says, I get angry, I get emotional. Preeti Shah says, uh, body. So she wants to, you want to change your body? Uh, okay, so some weight, some weight goals, I'm assuming. Uh, procrastination, laziness, ego, and anger. Sue says, procrastination, overthinking, getting into too much details. Do not, not opening up easily with people. Nehal says, food habits, setting priorities, can't say no. Rachna says, aggression, stuck feeling and procrastination. Okay, I'm getting, there are so many procrastinations coming up. This is not uh, a coincidence. Yeah. Is it, Siddhi? Not at all. Uh, I've seen a common pattern in women and I'm really sorry because I'm being judgmental or biased right now, but this is out of my experience. Uh, the experience of working with hundreds of women has at least brought alive these facts. Number one, they always undervalue. They undervalue their own worth. And sometimes they need someone else to, you know, bring that alive inside of them. Number two is procrastination. Because they are already feeling lost or maybe they are depending on others or maybe someone else has projected their views upon you. Is all so very draining that they, either they lose out on confidence or simply they lose out on the willingness to do something and that ends up becoming this word, <laughs> procrastination. So it, it is okay. It is part of life. But that is what one aims at changing when one aims at changing the life itself. So usually when we go out and pray to the gods, goddesses, we will say, okay, give me money, give me this, give me that. So we most of the times end up asking for the wrong things instead of you know make me receive that make me be able to withstand or be able to face it or whatever it is we never ask a change inside of us however i've seen a trend that is changing the people have women have moved from give me this to make me this and that is the kind of thing i anyway wanted to highlight so everyone thank you so very much for bringing it on table because now we can talk about it in detail yeah so if you still wanted to go ahead and understand the kind of elemental or the goddess energy you are in i'm going to be throwing a few questions and let us see what is your answer so and first of all the kind of comments that you receive from your close friends the ones that matter friends family members relatives option number a you're very bold and intimidating you make bold decisions in life sometimes i get scared to talk to you because i know you'll be straight up on my face Anybody Option. yes on that? Put it in. Put it in immediately. Yeah, so note that, down. I'm going yeah. to be doing multiple questions. So please note down whether it is A, B, C or D. Yeah. So keep noting them down. And in one go, you can tell us how many of what did you receive. Option number two. You're very sensitive or you're very sentimental. You're very emotional. And I know that you understand me. I know that you're loving and kind, but sometimes you get very emotional. This is the kind of comment you receive. Third is, you are a great advisor. And something about you makes us feel centered. That is option number C. Number I said, okay, option C. And option D. Oh, there's a fourth, all right. Option D is you're full of joy. Like when we are around you, we our spirits get lifted up. Now I'm throwing question number two at you. Did you just, just repeat A, B, C, D once more for everybody? Yeah. Even if it's yeah. just one, one word uh, so that they can, they can do a quick recall on what all they connect with? Yes. So option A, you are very bold. You're very strong or you're strong-headed. Option B, you're sensitive, you're emotional, you're kind. Option C, you are a great advisor. Something about you centers me. 
and option D, you are a life of the party or whenever we are around you, our spirits get lifted up. You're very joyful. Now, question number two. I'm giving you a situation. Tell me how would you handle it? Maybe your maid did not turn up for 20 days. So sorry, so they're just coming in very quickly. Do you want these? Uh, do you want the uh, question one options first? Because question two will also have A, B, C, D, right? Yes. So do you do you want do you want to just do you want to just know very quickly who said what with question one? Uh, actually, it'll make sense when they will be able to figure out whether it is largely A, B, C, or D. And in combination, it is going to be mattering. But yes, you can go ahead and send in your answers. But eventually, right. I would want you to understand the whole picture. Okay, so may I just make a uh, quick suggestion since everybody is noting it on uh, paper and pen. Question one, write A, B, C, D for yourself. Question two, write A, B, C, D for yourself. Question three, write A, B, C, D for yourself. And then give us the collective answer. Siddhi, yes. that'll help you also, correct? Yes, yes. Perfect, okay, all right. In the GG, uh, C, D for one, keep it ready and give all three together once it's all done. And this choose is for everybody. One, yeah. That is the best. The best okay. of all. Try and be specific about one, but it's okay if you choose more. Now, question two. Maybe your maid or some help, whether it is work help or household help, did not turn up for 20 days. And has called you up to say that it is going to be a lot more than this. How do you react? Option A, you be direct. Questions? And you make yourself very clear as to what you need and how you would want to take things forward. You confront in a way. Option B, you offer to help her try and find out. Option C, you will not give a great reaction, but you know that everything happens in divine right time. So you will just let it go and wait for the right time for this work to be happened or for some kind of help to be received. And D, you do not care much because you know that you can figure out other options and there is always going to be someone else who will come and help you. So one of these four options I'm quickly repeating. First is you demand attention and you demand an explanation or you confront the person. Option number two, sorry, B is you offer some help and you compassionately ask her what is it all about. Option C, you do not talk much about it but you know that you will find out a great solution. In option number D, you do not care so much because you know that something or the other will work out and you'll be able to find the right person for you. Now, how do you react when it is the time of urgency? How do you react? So for an example, maybe it's an earthquake or maybe it is something really important that you cannot ignore. Option A, you try to protect everyone along with yourself. You're like instantly into some action mode. <coughs> Sorry. Option B, you feel a little pain and start empathizing with situation and people. You struggle a little for a while as to, I don't know how to go ahead and deal with it, but very soon you will come into action. You will take a moment to empathize. You'll take a moment to understand what is happening around you. Option C, you know that there's something happening and you can contribute only so much. So 
you go ahead and contribute in helping others and helping yourself overcome the situation how much ever you can do you will in option d you already have a plan ready you know what to do and you are into it very interesting questions uh, siddhi it almost uh, reminds me of um, you know when 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 we were teenagers when i was a teenager there was this thing called magazines uh, <laughs> and they used to send these uh, quizzes you know find out who are you personality a your personality b your personality c your personality i'm like looking at the questions i said yes this is 100% that uh, those guys had no idea that this is going to happen here today right now okay uh very nice uh, sandhya that's exactly how we want it um so sandhya has put in question 1 uh all bold strong advisor and life of the party question 2 is uh, b c d and question 3 is a so what do you have to say for sandhya right now ha huh. you know sometimes we do get confused about what is it that we are the biggest question right. that keeps all of us up but idea is to get clarity if you do not know which of this the most you are give yourself a minute close your eyes and put yourself in a situation like that and see what is coming up instantly maybe you will be compassionate but what is the first maybe first i i grew very fierce and then slowly i calmed down when i was compassionate towards someone that means i'm compassionate and i'm strong headed as well but what comes first is what you will note down that will help you achieve some clarity into the kind of work that is going to go ahead after this and that's very interesting isn't it siddhi because we do as people uh especially as women even men they you do connect to so much instantly but that one thing that is first for you that's your dominant so folk think of think of that and let us know so uh, thank you for that uh, siddhi because something like exactly what sandhya i was i was also listening i was like yes 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 but then finally when i was thinking finally i said i know that's that that one's predominant i know this one's predominant i know this one's predominant i know this one's uh, predominant you know like for example even with the elements i connect to all of them but i know that uh, uh fire is what i would say yes to first that immediately if i have to choose if i have to make a choice make a decision right now so yes it's very interesting thanks for that siddhi and uh, sandhya thank you for actually bringing this up so that all of us could also understand this better and yeah. uh, uma has written uh, no, question 1 on. there are two more questions Sorry. let me finish. oh there are two more okay yes i'm sorry okay. <laughs> let us just <laughs> So okay, so what happens when someone challenges you into something? Option A, you're ready, you're raring to go, and face the person. Option B, you don't want this. You'll find a very sweet and quirky way, very creative way to say no. Option C, you will wisely analyze the situation. and respond maybe you might not do something immediately you will weigh your options then you'll do something an option d you're already thinking about strategic ways whether you can win or you can lose and you will weigh down the challenge and if it is interesting you'll take it up if you can't you'll figure your way out <coughs> so you will start understanding your strengths weakness the opponent's strengths and weaknesses is option b and one last when facing your deepest fears something popped up in front of you and you know that this is your biggest your deepest fear how do you deal with it option a you plunge right into it like i need to deal with this right now and 
I'm going to do it right now and plunging right into my fear, face it. Option B, you know that you need time and you will need to work your way around. In this time, you will not forget to hug yourself, trying to be more focused, trying to be more collected within yourself, but you know that you need time and you will give yourself that love and time to deal with this. Option C, you will seek out help. And most likely it is a professional help. You seek out help only from people who are wiser than you or people who excel at certain things. In option D, you will divert your focus onto what you need at that time the most. And you will work on that. So yes, now let's hear. Right. So um, I'm just checking very quickly because everybody had put in uh, one, two, threes in the beginning. Okay. Uh, I'm just starting from uh, starting with uh, Ria here. Uh, Ria says for one, it is A, B, C. For two, it is A and B. For three, it is B and C. For four, it is C. And for five, it is C. Yeah. So you get an idea of largely what it is, right? Uh, so, Vashish, you've written four and five, uh, and I'm guessing you must. Have, yeah, so okay. Shubha, what sorry, you need to sorry. figure out Go ahead. which is which is the most uh, answered option. It is largely A or largely B or largely C or largely. B. So I'll tell you what. People who received largely A are fire element people. People who received largely B are water. Largely C, R, and largely D, R, air. Now, let me give you a quick insight. And this comes from the fact that we live in the world of duality, right? So when it is fire element, that means you'll be bold. That means you'll be protective. That means you'll be headstrong. But this side of you, when it had to become your shadow side. Now, what do I mean by shadow? Shadow simply means my negative emotion or my negative core belief pattern or something that I've ad adopted from someone else. Someone else told me something and I took it in as my core belief pattern. So, any of those that are not working for you, for your larger good, are your shadow elements within you that you need to deal with. So what happens when you are headstrong and it turns out to be negative for you? You'll become stubborn. You'll become extremely bold and you will end up taking decisions that will be not only destructive for others but for your own self you can end up becoming self-destructive when you own the water space that means you're emotional you're compassionate but that when starts becoming negative you become overtly sensitive you become overtly dependent to a point that people will be pointing at you, saying that, you know what, you don't need to feel so hard about yourself and you don't need to be thinking, overthinking too much. Like I'll tell you all one story. There's this friend of mine who I speak with almost every day and because of some personal reasons, I could not do it for two to three days. And I could not even keep in touch because what I was dealing with was an urgency. And then... I receive a text saying that if I've done something wrong, you know, I, I'm really sorry. I'm like, no, no, you've not done something wrong. So like, are you willing to talk to me? I'm like, don't question my willingness. I'm just busy. And then a statement came. I know it's not you, 
I think it is my imagination that people sometimes do not want to talk to me. And that's when I realized that there was something bigger at play. And I told him a way to channelize the sensitivity. I said, let's first of all get past this question that, yeah, I'm willing to talk. But then I told him what is it that I was really struggling with and he understood. Second thing, I told him when you are facing something like this, why don't you go ahead and offer help and use your sensitive side to some good direction. So the sensitivity can be both ways. It could be working for you or against you. So that was water element. It can make you extremely sensitive that you can't even express sometimes. You want to say something, but you'll keep it to yourself. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is wisdom or guidance, the earth element. Sometimes it makes you absorb so much that you don't need to. It, it makes you forget that you have healthy boundaries. You must create them, but you don't end up doing it. So all you're doing is you're just constantly receiving others' problems, making them your own problems. You're constantly living a life from where the center is gone off to someone else or multiple different people. It's no longer you. You've lost your center. That, But you make others feel centered. Yeah. And last is the air element. If that is overdone, maybe you're overtly bubbly, overtly joyous, maybe your expressing is so loud that you're, that you're not appreciated and you also do not end up appreciating this side of yours. Maybe you don't know how to deal with it because you've lost your focus. And such kind of issues can come in. Now, if you would have noticed, a lot of people said procrastination or my health issues. Mm, sorry, Neelu, can you help me with some more that was said? Second here. So there was a procrastination, overthinking, getting angry fast, uh, uh, financial instability, laziness, struggles with relationship and body, overthinking, self doubt. Yeah. Yeah. So it does. So these kind of issues do make you sluggish, angry, irritable. Every emotion, every negative emotion that is coming in, it sometimes comes in to defend you like when we are expressing rage we are expressing the need to look at us and address something like i do need this attention i do need this time and hear me out sometimes it is the need to be heard and that's why we are raging up so every negative emotion likewise has something now coming back to the elements and then to goddesses so these goddesses they have different kind of spaces, right? So I will start by saying what was my story. I was definitely a fire element person, largely. I could be very bold. I could be very upfront. And I could not relate to emotions or emotional needs so much because I was extremely practical. One day a friend of mine comes and gifts me something. And I told her that, you know what, you didn't need to do it. Just tell me what is it that you need and I will do it for you. So I was offering to help, but my words were completely wrong. And what she told me is like, you know what, Sibi, people do love you. And they don't come to you to get something from you, but express their love to you. And when I went into a silence for another two minutes, I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. But I was not open to it. And that's when I realized that I needed a space of unconditional love I needed a space of compassion. Now that was not dominantly me. And when I asked universe, a kind of thread came to me that connected me with Lady Kwan Yin. And when I started learning more and more about her, when I started practicing with her, something changed in me. The basic changes that I saw within me to begin with, were I could change the way I was talking. I changed and it wasn't something I was doing consciously. The kind of words I said 
were different uh, the way i said was different initially i would not even take my eyes off my phone or computer screen and i will go on speaking but i know what i'm speaking but after this it made me more connected with people that i'll keep everything aside for a while and give time to whoever is talking to me and that made me more connected with people so like i so many changes happened and not only that it changed the kind of relationships i had with everyone else in my life my family my friends in 3 months time they could tell me that you've changed phenomenally the look on your face also has changed you look softer now i'm like okay <laughs> this this is too much but thank you um and not only one person i got it from everyone else the habit that i did not have with me before is like i would just speak i will not think whatever is on the mind is on my lips and i'm speaking it out right and sometimes it is not exactly very sweet that entire work with goddess changed me in a way that i became more thoughtful and mindful of how i'm delivering something so relationships changed my auric field changed and that brought alive a lot of changes into different areas and fronts also my workspace um indirectly or directly that did increase my money flow also and it made me a better person in the way i could deal with my emotions or with my shadows or dark sides changed a lot so that was one second like me there were many other i came across who were dealing with something or the other so idea was to go ahead and figure out what is it that you want to be changing and seek it out there are ways we can go ahead and release and give it to the goddesses so that they absorb it and they change it for you and bring in a new reality and that was why i wanted you all to go ahead and note down what is it that you want to be changing so give me a moment and in this moment is it all right if we you are it from sejal ji what kind of transformation did she go through when she connected with the goddess energies absolutely is she here yes very much sejal i've sent you a request and she is here hi yes. sejal say hello hello everyone hello hello how are you nilu all good sejal how are you fine after a long good to time see you again <laughs> yes after a long time yeah yeah <laughs> go ahead sejal tell us yeah i i really would like to share my experiences with siddhi uh like see i have learned many modalities with siddhi along with this goddess energies so i have jotted down few things i would like really would like to share with you all uh first of all i give mani reiki healings to many of my clients with goddess mahalakshmi chants and they have uh, been benefited amazingly uh, recently one of my dubai client he had taken a package of 21 days of this uh, mani reiki healing along with mahalakshmi ma goddess mahalakshmi and uh, since his 18 days he could not see any change and he was wondering that by like sejal is giving me such a wonderful healing and nothing is happening and out of the blue on the 19th day can you imagine he got an order worth rupees 80000 dirham wow and, uh, i have uh, shared that <coughs> feedback with siddhi he was so happy and uh, continuously every month i do this uh, mani reiki healing along with goddess mahalakshmi chants and ashtalakshmi reiki energies for my husband too Yeah, he has his team of twenty to twenty-five people in the office, and uh, uh, recently, can you imagine? They got a uh, big project from multinational company, with which their annual income was got for like for the next one year. They are rest assured, and uh, all the sister concerns of that multinational company has also started approaching my husband. He was so happy, like he said, "Your Mahalakshmi energies are really working." Absolutely. And, yeah. Thank you so much. 
and uh, the other experience i would like to share of goddess mahakali and goddess baklamukhi uh, with this energies i was healing uh, along with siddhi's help i was healing one couple like a boyfriend and a girlfriend they had uh, so many issues so after this healing of i think 5 to 6 days only their relationship started progressing and the girl was very happy she said no we will continue for more 21 days to complete and like i said That's like wow <laughs> uh, but i i will give all the credit to siddhi like she is teaching amazingly and uh, siddhi always uh, shares everything with every of her student so like she in her calls uh, during this uh, goddess uh, workshops she always shares uh, of uh, chamunda ma chants so with this chant uh, yeah. this chants i had given to one of my client and you know the gold is of so much of value to a woman or a lady yeah. like her uh, ornaments were mortgaged since 4 years and once she completed this 12500 chains of chamunda ma out of the blue on her birthday her husband gave a gift wo oh, sab ornaments he returned she said oh, like wow. wow but see this is this is her personal feeling so yeah, i did not find appropriate to ask her for feedback it doesn't look good like her feelings were attached to it uh and i would also uh, give uh, one more uh, share one more thing like this chains with the help of this chains i also make uh, prosperity oil with this chamunda ma chains they are really so powerful like during this pandemic all my uh, clients they get a amazing business benefits so like some something or the other from the universe they get some work out of the blue they get some work say like they all continuously tell me yeah sejal please please give that prosperity oil to me so like siddhi whatever siddhi says i think i i would uh, really add on one statement of her like whenever you do this chants of ma chamunda ma or mahalakshmi ma this ashtalakshmi reki energies you surrender totally matlab you should not doubt on the universe and universe will definitely return it and really this is happened in my life like i was totally a housewife i had never thought that i would like progress such wood and my monthly income i'm so happy i'm so happy and all because of siddhi her teaching experience her teaching style like even the students ask her so silly questions like know where the connection is there with the modality and they ask myself i ask her so many times because i always repeat all her goddess workshop and any other workshop sometimes i forget something i again ask siddhi how do we do with this and she very patiently handles us like i'm really blessed to have siddhi in my life <laughs> thank you and thank you, uh, thank you siddhi and uh, one more thing i would tell like uh, angels ke sath bhi i connect goddess energies so whenever i send the pictures of these healings with goddess to my clients or just during uh, seeing that uh, pictures also they could feel my energy and which siddhi has passed me she has blessed for me siddhi is really ma i'm not telling much more about this people will think ke kuch bada chada ke bol rahi hai lekin <laughs> no no <laughs> nilu uh, i am really thankful <laughs> सिद्धि मतलब सिद्धि जो एनर्जीज पास करती ना गॉडेस एनर्जी एंड इफ यू ट्रूली बिलीव ऑन व्हाट सिद्धि सेज एंड इवन इफ यू फॉलो हर डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली हंड्रेड परसेंट वी विल बेनिफिट एंड एंड दैट्स इट दैट्स इट थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन थैंक यू सिद्धि फॉर गिविंग मी द चांस थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग ऑन एंड एंड शेयरिंग योर ब्राइटनेस विद अस थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच नीलू थैंक यू सिद्धि आई so siddhi very quickly very quickly here because uh this is going to come up i'm sure so uh, this isn't just something that you would learn uh for your own healing journey you can actually use it for others for your clients for your family for what you know anybody and everybody around you right yeah Super. so this is a journey of making healers like in past one years i've made so many healers and that's what i believe in because every goddess energy brings alive one aspect of you and that's what i was exactly going to say and uh 
thank you for bringing this up is that healing could be of many different ways and i told you about the elemental and i told you about the flaws why don't i tell you about the benefits the fire energy goddess is cleanse and protect you they help you speak up your truth they help you rise up all the sluggishness all the lethargy everything they will just liberate you from all of that in one go yeah they are strikingly powerful all the water energy goddesses will help you get calm down get benefited uh, in terms of your emotion in terms of your relationship the kind of space that you're owning there is compassion or love the air goddesses help you get more focused they give you more intelligence more ideas more to do with iq and how you handle your thoughts around yeah with power of course all of them come along with the space element and the earth energies ground you center you they give you wisdom like goddess saraswati she fills you up with right words that you can speak mahalakshmi ji fills you up with the loving kindness and prosperous energy that you can own and mahakali gives you that power to cut through so what is it that is overpowering and how you can balance it so there is a goddess inside you for which you identified which element it is but whether it is working for you or against you is something you need to identify and realize for yourself it is working for you then you need to nurture that a lot more but if it is working against then you need to balance it out with some other energy that is going to give you what you don't have the way i said that i did not have compassion i received it i had to learn or i had to be opened up to that which happened um uh, so yeah so either you balance it or you start nurturing it i will just give you one quick and small exercise right now and towards the end of the call we will be doing something goddess mahakali so before that let me tell you a very quick thing goddess mahakali protects nurtures liberates goddess konya gives you compassion gives you opens you up to love and helps you balance your karmic cycles the karmic patterns she is the goddess of karma goddess saraswati goddess sizes they give you idea strategies wisdom even gaia yeah and goddess is like arya they fill you up with intelligence goddess saraswati also happens to be the air element will fill you with intelligence so figure out what is it that you need for a moment at this point of time what balances you the most out of these four five things figure one out and all you need to do is close your eyes and think about a name or a word of the goddess you would want to connect the challenge you have within you think of a goddess allow her to come next to you in whatever you have in your mind in terms of your challenge present it to her and when you do it place your palms in receiving position and take at least 11 deep breaths and release through your mouth where you simply focus on to your third eye there is absolutely no other focus all your focus is on to your third eye in the same time observe the kind of emotions that are coming up the kind of ideas that are popping up in your mind <coughs> sorry when it is done you can simply surrender
while we wait for everybody to go through that, uh, Sejal is very excited to share something else that she had forgotten to share. And I'm going to request Sejal to please hang in there. Let this get done and we'll get you on again. Okay, don't worry. And the teams uh, shared some beautiful pictures on the group of uh, Goddess Mahakali and Goddess Saraswati and Goddess Kornin and Goddess Mahalakshmi. And I'm like, I'm, 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 I want to fall at the feet of all of them. Okay, now I can see a few people are back. And some still have their eyes closed. What happens here on to be? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So I was asking what happens here on. Ah, here on just simply thank and let me know if you received any ideas. I thought one or two of them were still into the stage, so I did not really disturb. Yes. Yeah. And going forward, observe the kind of changes and ideas you get during the day and another two days. What's happening? If surrendered today, think this is what I need to work with, see the kind of answers you get. So working with goddesses has a kind of journey, a kind of understanding. And that's what I've brought forward today. Like that comes with attunements, that comes with power to enhance uh, psychic abilities. The basic understanding of what is it that I want to be working on through attunements, through symbols, not only heal me, heal my family, heal my friends, heal my relatives, but alongside I'm addressing something of extreme importance. And that's what I'm addressing today in this call. I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about relationships. That is going to happen. But what I'm addressing is something very important. That is not only to define now, but it is like co-creating future. I'm sorry, Nimi, you were saying something. Uh, uh, Siddhi, sorry, I, I interrupted because Manisha has written in saying, uh, thank you. Uh, I'm having a severe headache now and I don't know why. Yeah, so please go ahead and drink some water. I'll help you with it. And try and place your feet on the ground. And tell me, please update me in five minutes. What is it that you're feeling? And I'll help you. But for now, do these two things. She heard you. She's doing it. Go ahead. Yeah. So, yeah. So what I was talking about is how to balance them out and basically understand what kind of direction you can take. So as I said, goddess Mahakali, goddess Isis, they give you direction. They open paths for you. And they are warrior goddesses. <coughs> Sorry. Lady Kuan Yin opens you up to compassion and helps you change your karmic pattern. Now, karmic pattern means opening up so many different doors, being more aware of how my soul responds for such a long time and has been responding. Yeah. Um, Goddess Saraswati uh, gives you that kind of wisdom. Mahalakshmi gives you love. And that's what we need to figure out what is complementing us and ways to work with them. So these ways, uh, as I said, give you attunement, give you balance, give you much more than only receiving material abundance. It is also changing your own self. Now, if you, any one of you or all of you have questions, I would love to take in. And they are, questions are in. Okay, Sushila has also said, my shoulder is hurting a lot. So for uh, Sushila also, same thing, Siddhi? Water yeah, and feet on the name. ground? Yeah, good okay. that you told me the names. <clears throat> the work from my end has begun. Yeah. So don't worry, sit on the ground. 
you realize where all you're storing it all up in your system that's where it's releasing from yeah nice okay super uh, in the chief uh, in the chief cheese symbols means are you incorporate uh, incorporating reiki symbols or there are some other symbols there are some other symbols as well and there are reiki symbols so what i've come up with at four different programs as to what is it that you need some of them have direct energy healing attunements and channels some of them come through symbols not all of them are reiki but they are modalities like some of them are empowerments one is lavender flame one is a healing system in itself and not all of them are reiki but they are very unique to their own pace on top of this i do give away symbols that those were channelized to me by goddesses i do give away ways to heal and work with yourself and others through goddess energy so that is completely my creation that i will be sharing with all of you in this so um, let us share what all are these four things with them and it will give you a better idea absolutely and i'm going to request uh, shilpa please help us with this in the meantime Uh, Vibhavri has asked. Siddhi mentioned the goddess helpful in karmic uh, release. Can you please mention that again? Kuan Yin, the Kuan name. Yin. She's a Chinese goddess, and she's a bodhisattva herself. Okay, so when it was time for her to cross over, she said, "I don't want to be crossing over because I want to help people to ascend. I want to help them ascend." And she stayed around eight hundred years. with people in china helping so many more and even now energetically she's so present uh, she is said to be the goddess of karmic code she comes from such a forgiving space and opens you up to forgiveness in such a great way that according to her there is no one on this earth who's punishable like absolutely no crime if there's someone who's done more crimes is the one who needs more love it comes from the space of no punishment so when you connect with her energies you'll realize that you're filled with so much of calmness as soon as you go ahead and do it atiti is asking an interesting question can the element uh, and goddesses one resonates with change over time yes as you grow up you might need something more it is a journey it is a progress like from fire i moved to water and then i realized that yeah i need more so yes you will be exploring more but largely what is dominant is always going to be there within you so yeah but that gets channelized in a beautiful way so fire can rage you up but fire can direct your will also yeah absolutely in fact because as you said siddhi it's a journey right so you know you're born a baby and then like you grow physically that's how you grow emotionally mentally spiritually as well and it's very it's very normal isn't it that you connect to various gods over time you know so yeah like for example during the ratri the focus is completely on but it's not like the rest of the year you're not connecting uh, with with mine any in, in any way or form and it also doesn't mean that you're not connecting with the uh, with the other gods and uh, goddesses around right so you can have multi connections and you can have timelined connections as well correct okay uh, yes thank you dinas is asked did lady kon konyan give the lotus sutra mani padma ah so om mani padme hum is a chant but lotus sutra is more to do with buddha himself so, as i said lady konyan is bodhisattva bodhisattva means that whoever attained the same level like buddha after buddha crossed over are called bodhisattvas so this connects with her as well and uh, ah. also with avalokiteshvara who's also bodhisattva padma sambhava who's also a bodhisattva so yeah it it does connect you with many different things and that's why these names pop up but largely it is to do with buddha and in the ji ji is asking can we not be connected with as many goddesses like as many as yes, i totally love it and enjoy it because every time i i do 
get to experience that difference and i'm someone who celebrates you know, the differences in different things so right. yeah it's an absolute delight to connect with so many of them yes yeah absolutely and manisha has in fact asked before and just taking this last question on siddhi and we'll get we'll get the package details on manisha said i develop confusion whom to call if i have to call only one goddess maybe that is the reason of the headache can i call more than one goddess you can Did call them more oh, yeah sorry you can call more than one goddesses okay but because you're very focused at the, this particular time what you can do is today work with one and tomorrow work with the other it will give you clarity as to what is more connecting and what is working out you will be able to identify so for an example you have confusion you can call on to goddess saraswati who is goddess of wisdom or you can call on to athena who is also a goddess of wisdom and she is a warrior she is a strategist or you can call on to isis she has moon energies she has very calming energies and she also happens to be sort of a goddess you can call on to amaterasu who is a sun goddess and there are so many names figure out one that clicked the most right that was right for you and that you could pick up on and start working with this give it couple of days before you move on to the other one. this will help you understand what is your connect Fabulous, and she's written in. Yes, I called the goddess Saraswati uh, at awesome. first place. Thank you. And uh, then as I said, I got a deep pain in my right back skull side. <coughs> and there are a couple of more questions which we'll take on after we get the package on. So anything that you want to say to Dinas right now, uh, Siddhi? Same we get the thing, package? please uh, do right. it. And I hope Manisha ji and uh, Sushila ji are okay. Feeling fine. We'll catch it. Yeah. Please let us know on the group, uh, people. And uh, Shilpa, if we could just have this thing on because this is, I think, uh, it is definitely a good time to let everybody know because the questions are, what, what do I do for this? Why can't I connect to so many gods? Can I connect to so many? So knowing what's in store for you will definitely further contribute to your decision making right now. So. Uh, uh, team, hi. Can we get the can we get the the PPT on, please? Thank you. And there we are. God is attending in workshops with Siddhi. Siddhi, go ahead. Yeah. So in these workshops, as I said, you will receive attunements. You will receive symbols. You will receive. A proper practical understanding of how you go ahead and connect with them, receive guidance, facilitate healings, and make a difference in life not only for yourself but others. These are combinations of different things. So what I teach is definitely going to be there along with some other teachings. Like a couple of them may have Reiki. Uh, the Pondians workshop is lavender clay, but it is not limited to only that. It comes up with more ways to connect. comes up with more understanding and attunement processes to heal yourself heal others and completely make a healer out of yourself and slowly have you open up and make it greater for you in your life so let us understand what are these uh okay yeah before that all the courses come to you with an option to revise it whenever it is happening for another 6 months at no extra cost a uh, constant support to, will be given to you on whatsapp for 6 months uh with this i'm giving away my 11 days 30 minutes daily psychic empowerment goddess med meditations which come to you like those are meditations those are also healing and empowerment designed to empower your psychic vision uh so the workshops have four different types one is karma and compassion karma and compassion helps you understand how you deal with your karmic pattern how you change it and how you start facilitating healing energy so in this you will not only learn about changing your karmic pattern but actually facilitating healing for the same as well 
so if someone is struggling with karmic issues also a part of their pattern you can definitely change not only for yourself but for others in this is this package is with goddess conian's energy the second is fire up yourself so anyone who's feeling sluggish lethargy feeling too many blocks maybe some kind of psychic energies or negative energy issues that you're facing in your life or maybe you just simply need more will power more strength you need to speak up your truth or you need to open doors to anything in life this fire up yourself has or introduces you to introduces you to ways of working with goddess mahakali goddess durga and warrior goddesses to make it happen in your life yeah the, the third is wisdom and guidance your we connect with goddess saraswati goddess isis to understand many many different ideas and how to invoke wisdom within us grounding within us through many different ways so these will have attunements in the way you connect with them and facilitate healing energies for yourself and others and last is love beauty relationships where we learn about goddess heda goddess yameya goddess mahalakshmi yameya helps you deal with yourself and ancestral patterns heal them uh, most of us would be knowing about goddess mahalakshmi that she gives us overall prosperity like how sejal ji was saying that it is not only helping her but others and it's not only monetary front people have also worked out on their skin on their health on many other things where where they wanted to make it prosperous and uh, goddess heather is said to be the nurturing mom of egypt she's helped nurture many many pharaohs yeah and divine goddess coming from the space of nurturing so it goes into the space of relationship love beauty money and all those material aspects so these are four different areas that i've defined for you and you can pick up any or all depending on what is it that right. you're looking at can we have the next screen please thank you yeah so yours what you can do is you can choose package that means any one of them yeah and any one of them will come to you uh oh, sorry so any of these karma and compassion fire up wisdom love any of them will come to you with a bonus that i mentioned to you a little while ago that is um your revisions the whatsapp support the 11 psychic energy empowerment meditations part to be uh, a lot of practice sessions also and all this when you go ahead and choose and select comes to you for 34000 that is the original price of any one, one. of any of one any right one any one correct <laughs> so when you choose to go for only one this is the original price but <laughs> you know that we always make it better for you right and which is a 70% off for another 24 hours only and that is straight up 9000 rupees and just before we were having this call just 5 minutes before the call we've decided anyone who takes this in also receives the goddess the inner goddess workshop the 7 days where you have a lot of pre recorded videos of working with different goddess archetypes you're not limiting yourself to only one goddess but yes that helps you understand different goddesses understand yourself in a deeper way like the quiz that i took in there are multiple in that uh, in that course and uh, it helps you find your spark and connect with different goddesses so those are kind of yeah and uh, siddhi you know what <laughs> while you were uh, just kind of explaining the the package a little bit earlier i saw a message on the group from uh, nehal saying that 
I'm feeling so bad that I missed uh, the seven day workshop. And I, in my head, I'm thinking, I said, you wait for it. You wait for it, woman. There is a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here's it for you. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, we decided to give it away because we didn't want you to limit only to certain goddesses. However, uh, this is also an understanding the conceptual understanding of how you go about working with yourself and goddesses. So that is absolute necessary. Now, Fabulous. so package one comes to you with 74% off only 24 hours. So if you're guided to any one of these, go for it. But And if like, you're guided for <laughs> more than one? For all of them. <laughs> like Indraji ji said, like what if I, I want to work with all of them and I want to be connected with all of them? My, I would be delighted and I would say, why not? Because each one of them has a magical spark. Each one of them has a magical beauty. And that is in package B. If we could move on to that slide, please. And I'm Thank so you. sorry, I, I said Nehal. It was actually Neha. Uh, sorry about that, Nehal. Neha Chabria. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we have it. All four workshops. Okay. So yours all four workshops your 11 days psychic empowerments become 22 days here your bonus also increases and of course you'll be part of the other benefits that are already getting away but the special price so all together this all the workshops that i'm giving away in so many goddesses attunements the price would be 1,26,000. This is original price, but it is coming to you at 22,000 only for another 24 hours. So don't wait. This is great amount of work and great amount of energy. Fabulous. And of course, uh, as you mentioned just before, and uh, uh, let me also just mention this to everybody, Siddhi, that the additional, this last minute bonus and uh, uh, that you have was actually not part of it. This 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 happened very suddenly, very impromptu, and uh, mm -hmm. it is now that that you also get the bonus of the seven days, uh, seven days workshop. This is ab absolutely amazing. These are fantastic offers, people. You have any of any that you want to choose at just nine thousand rupees or one hundred forty two dollars, and you have this if you want to do all four. Is just 22,000 rupees and 345 US dollars. Look at the times. Each each workshop is for two, two is for two days. It's uh, across two hours, three hours. There are attunements, there are healings. Uh, there's there's so much happening, and all that at just 9,000 or 22,000, at just 142 dollars or 345 dollars, is a uh, is a steal, really. It is. And Siddhi, what if uh, Okay, because we always have this, and I'm sure, uh, and I know that you have this for us as well. There is another option for people, right? Yes. This is basically I a session you with you. <laughs> so you can also opt in for, um, for a personal healing session with Goddess Energies for 30 minutes with Siddhi. And that's at a special price of 2,100 rupees or $34 only. Okay. Originally, it would, uh, if you would just go normally, it would cost you $2,500, uh, 20, sorry, 2,500 rupees and $40. So that is it. And of course, the fabulous, fabulous bumper surprise for all of you that uh, happened just before this call. So yeah, and can we see that? Can we see that screen as well, please? Ah, oh, there it is. I love it. I love, I love bumper bonuses, especially when they come in the middle of two stars. <laughs> yes, so the bumper that, I'm sorry, I announced it a little earlier, but yeah, the seven days goddess uh, energy workshop. workshop comes to you for free and all the support that I'm rendering them is extended to you as well. Yes. Fabulous. So any, even if I buy a single package, I'll get this, right? Yes, absolutely. If I buy a single, I buy two, I buy four, whatever it is, I'm getting four access two. to this. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous. Super, super. Thank you. This is this is amazing stuff. 
I mean, the kind of work that would have gone uh, into even putting this together, the work that you're doing. Um, can we get, uh, Shilpa, sorry, can we have the screen removed? Uh, sorry, not the screen removed, the, <laughs> the PPT removed. You know, sometimes we just say words, uh, I, I, at least I catch myself, you know, you say th you, you, you use words because they're regular words that you use, but you don't realize what you're actually saying because remove the screen means that, okay, then where do we all go if there's no screen right now? <laughs> so as I was saying, Siddhi, you might, there's so much that's gone into this um, that you've put together at these fabulous prices. It's a, it's a learning workshop. It's a healing workshop. And is it certified, Siddhi? Oh, yes. All of these are certified. And everything that you'll be doing, it will come with official certifications. And not only that, certification, yes, of course, it comes with that. I will also be giving you practice session where I practically get into understanding of everyone's understanding. As in someone has got it right or someone is doing it right. Or how you can take it forward. And apart from this, during the phase of the workshop, like Sejanji said, that I give away a lot of chants. I give away a lot of rituals otherwise. For whoever is interested, those are not a part of your healing uh, modality or the way you work things out. But those are those additional features and benefits that are always making you experience more with that goddess. What is it that I could do? Like, for an example, Yemeya, she likes the sound of drums and she the way to please her is to just have a one minute dance. You know, how cool is that? But if you were something to do with goddess mahakali maybe you light something up for her so there are certain kind of sounds that we play there are certain kinds of way we connect apart from what is it that we are currently knowing about Superb. very nice so, and uh, people yeah go ahead this please remember this offer is available only for 24 hours Okay, and you will get the uh, replay as well for whoever's, this is just for whoever's listening into the replay. By the time you receive the replay, you will still have enough time. So make sure you grab the offer. Okay, this is very nice. Uh, Siddhi, uh, I know that you were going to take us through uh, a, a meditation. Yes. Before yes. we do that, uh, like I said, we have, uh, we have Sejal very, very excited. I've forgotten to share two very important things. So with your permission, should we just bring sure. her on very sure, quickly? Why not? Yes. Sejal, you're here. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I was a little busy. <laughs> so just had gone for a while. Okay, you've become horizontal. For, ah, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. No, no, don't Actually, worry, don't worry. Go ahead. Can you see can you see me now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Acha, uh, I forgot two important sharings. Uh, with this guidance and along with the goddess Mahakali and goddess Baglamukhi Ma's energy, recently I uh, had given healings to two of the clients. One, he was a, he's a doctor right now. I had given 11 healing sessions that doctor could, can you imagine he has an addiction of taking sleeping pills. He takes the full packet when he's in stress. So the wife contacted, uh, contacted me to give the healing sessions. And uh, he, uh, like he, she found much, much difference after the 11 healing sessions. So these Baglamukhi and Goddess Mahakali Ma energy also help for uh, getting uh, relief from the addiction. And uh, one client, uh, like the lady contacted me for her husband. He had alcohol drinking addiction, like full day he keeps on drinking. So even that in addiction, she found almost 80% recovery. Now only 20% addiction is there. So I just forgot to share these two things uh, with you. <laughs> no, thank you for coming back thank and sharing, sharing that with us uh, yeah. again. Yeah, Because absolutely. alcohol, smoking, those are very bad habits. And if people come for this, like I feel we, we really should help them. And Siddhi guided me how to go for uh, this with the help of Goddess Mahakali and Goddess Bagla Mukima. So I just wanted to share with everyone. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. So, let us all move forward. Today's energies that we are going to be working with 
is going to be goddess mahakali we want her to as i said fire energy goddesses they cleanse and protect you from the kind of things that we are dealing with so what i would want all of you to experience is cleansing of one of those elements that you define today along with this any something um sorry can you hear me uh, yes i can hear you i just wanted to ask uh, are we heading into the meditation right now oh yes uh, that's what i was yes. intending so to do so would you like to uh, leave everybody uh, with the energy of the meditation and close the call at that point itself yes yes that okay. will be lovely Okay, fantastic. So I'm just going to take a quick moment uh, to say thank you, Siddhi. Thank you for today. Thank you, thank you for this. Uh, for this, you know, so much information. Even even to understand. Okay, you connect with this, or you do, you connect with that, and this is the direction that you need to take. Maybe you can take multiple directions. It's completely your choice. See what's going up and down. Fabulous quiz. uh i you you took me back to school with this really you did and uh, i know people wrote in a lot so and they've put in their a b c d s everywhere so i will definitely request for you to be with them after the call is over maybe you know give them let them know okay you know your water is strong your fire is strong and this will help that will help because it would further help them make their decisions i think so please uh, people siddhi will be with you on the group after the call so siddhi take us into the meditation and thank you so much for a fabulous fabulous day call time with uh, goddess energies i'm it's it's absolutely it's i'm feeling so good just just having been here so thank you so much thank you thank you everyone in fact and to the whole team of mr cloto i know some of you were facing a very hard time and even then all of you put together so much for me so thank you so much and thank you to every person who's present here and to you know this was definitely guided and your support in your presence was absolutely important for me and very delightful as well so thank you and before i wanted to move into meditation i wanted a note of thank you let us all move in. so my first request is if any one of you is not hydrated please drink some water and as i was saying the fire energy goddesses are very good and amazing with cleansing and protection so you already thought of some emotional or life pattern issues that you wish to or personality issues that you i don't call them issues so but you want to deal with them that's one and number two think of any kind of pain that you have in your body and allow it to be released as well during this session so this is going to be a meditative session and it is also going to be a little bit of healing sent to you all from my side throughout this process i would want you to rest your back so that you can align your spine your neck with the palms in receiving position on your lap that means both the palms facing the sky feet on the ground if they are touching the ground it will be wonderful if any one of you is not comfortable and wishes to sit in sukhasan that also is absolutely fine for a few minutes allow yourself to give this whole exercise an uninterrupted uninterrupted attention align your back your neck close your eyes three deep breaths and release through your mouth every breath that you take inside of you allow them to reach your lower abdomen and every breath that you're releasing out be released through your mouth as you do it 
start relaxing yourself completely. Relax. Your toes, your feet, your ankles, your calves. Relax. Release your thighs. Relax. Your hip joints, relax. Your entire spine. Relax your lower abdomen, upper abdomen, chest and shoulders. Relax your upper arms, your lower arms, your palms. Relax your face, your neck, your eyes, your eyebrows. Relax completely. As you do it in your mind, in your heart, say that I'm ready to receive. The healing energies of Mahakali sent to me right now by Siddhi. If you know what is Jnana Mudra, you can make Jnana Mudra in both your palms. That is touching your first finger to your thumb, placing them on your lap. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth. And allow the flow of energies to come your way. Spend a moment to think of a question that you have in your mind. Think of the areas where you're feeling the body pain. When you think of this question, identify them. Make an observation of your whole body and see where is it you're finding your body parts to be reacting when you think about this issue of yours. When you do it in your mind, in your heart, Be ready to surrender this to Mahakali. And slowly allow your attention, your focus, to a space. which is slowly getting darker and darker and darker all around you. And when it is completely dark around you and you turn, you realize that you are inside a tunnel. And at the end of the tunnel, you can see a light. You realize that there's some kind of sacred fire burning at the end of the light and you start walking towards the light. Your bare feet and you can feel the ground beneath your feet. Every step that you're taking towards the fire it's making you feel calmer. The light, as it is getting brighter, it's going all inside you, grounding all the pain energies, questions. 
all the energies of what you do not like about you the light has begun working on you as you go closer it gets warmer it gets brighter you go further ahead and right at the opening you realize that there is a completely different in a new dimension there are many different kinds of animal spirits many different kinds of spiritual beings all around but what seeks your attention the most is the fire at the center of the space in a beautiful lady with long hair sitting by the fire she's been waiting for you and you know it's her the goddess mahakali herself as you move towards her you go and sit right next to her and she looks straight into your eyes and with this many of the shackles inside of you are breaking down you observe all kind of changes happening inside of you as you realize that her energies are moving through her glands through her palms through the fire at first it is all warm and nice going inside your breath and entering your body touching your skin and moving inside but slowly the speed of this energy increases and some of it enters through your crown and starts flowing down in your body these are cleansing energies that are helping you feel relieved and open up your life's path whatever it is for you right and highest and best this is removing all the judgments fears anger doubts confusion any kind of question doesn't seem to exist and with this light moving down slowly you lose out on the sense of holding on to a physical body itself it's getting lighter and lighter and warm and bright she places her palm on top of your crown in a whirlpool like energy comes flooding down along with the healing energy sent your way it is creating a faster cleansing and as it is moving down and becoming bigger it is slowly getting grounded through your feet and with this rapid fast action you realize that you're losing out on the sense of this physical presence itself her light is get, getting connected with your light helping it shine brighter a warm 
is making you aware of your own powers inside of you. And as this is happening, let it slowly calm down, slow down. And in front of you, allow a few words to appear. Could be words that you see, that you hear, some kind of picture. It guides you on to your journey going forward. That answers, what is it that you need to do? And let it all slowly calm down. Thank the goddess in your heart for this beautiful cleansing and allow her to work and empowering your will. Through her palm comes a sun-like ball. and goes right into your navel. And from there, it keeps on shining brighter and brighter. Please take in seven deep breaths and release through your mouth and allow this ball to become better, bigger, brighter, all inside of you. It becomes so big, so great. That it is moving out into your aura and creating a beautiful protective shield. If she needs to tell you something, she'll tell it now. And she, slowly she touches on to this ball, which is created around you for your protection, for your cleansing. And this ball disappears from that dimension and appears back into your physical presence in your own room. And be aware of everything that's around you, the touch of air that you feel, the fragrances, the sounds, and take in five deep breaths, release through your mouth, and allow this energy to begin working for you. As we now thank in our hearts and our minds, Goddess Mahakali for helping us with her powers, with this healing through this channel. As I thank you, I thank all of you receiving these healing energies and meditation. Give yourself a couple of minutes to enjoy these energies. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes and take a few deep breaths and kickstart your day. You can choose to relax for a while. Anything will be perfectly fine. I, on behalf, Mr. Clotus team in me. Once again, thank you all. We'll take your leave now. If any one of you will need me around, I will be on the phone. Thank you.